Hi guys, so in today's video I'm going to show you how to make apple custard pie cake. My sister-in-law thought it was more pie-like, I thought it was a bit more cakey, so whatever, whatever you think. Um, this is a really fun recipe and you really need to trust the process with this one, so I really hope you enjoy it. So for the custard portion, you'll need 250 mils milk, one large egg, 50 grams of sugar, 15 grams of corn flour, and vanilla. I'm using a whole vanilla bean today, but you can also just use vanilla extract. I would just not use vanilla essence because it can be quite artificial. So I thought I would just quickly show those of you who don't know how to use vanilla bean. I'm just cutting it in half and just scraping the seeds out and those seeds are where that pure vanilla flavour is. The more seeds the better and don't throw the stem away guys, you can actually just pop it in a jar with some sugar, leave it for a few days and you've got vanilla sugar and I'm going to actually end up using the stem in my custard as well just to further infuse it. So to make the custard, I'm adding in all those ingredients into a saucepan. So I'm adding in my egg, my milk, my sugar, my corn flour, and my vanilla bean seeds. And we're going to give that a good whisk. You're then going to cook this on low heat until it thickens. And I've just added in my vanilla bean here as well. I just added a little bit of food coloring also <laughs> because my, yellow, my yolks weren't yellow enough and I wanted it a little bit brighter but I kind of went a bit overboard and this is the consistency you want with your custard because don't forget it's going to further thicken in the fridge once it starts to cool. You're then going to sieve your custard just to make sure that there are no lumps in there and everything stays nice and smooth and this will just make sure that everything stays nice and creamy. So after you've sieved your custard I'm just trying to show you all those beautiful vanilla bean specks in there. I just love that and then we're just going to cling film this until we need it for later and just keep it in the fridge. For the cake portion you'll need two large eggs, one and a half peeled and thinly sliced apples of your choice, 150 grams of sugar, 200 grams of plain flour and one teaspoon baking powder and 100 mils of whole milk. So to begin we're going to add in our eggs and sugar into a medium sized bowl and whisk these together until it's lighter in colour and almost double in size like this. You can also use your hand but it will take a lot longer. And once it reaches this stage we're going to add in our milk and just give that a good mix like this. We're then going to sift in our plain flour and baking powder and this just ensures that there's no lumps. This is optional but I also added in one teaspoon of vanilla and we're just going to gently fold our flour and vanilla into our egg mixture like this. After we've done that, we're going to add in our apples and further fold this in very gently. You don't want to knock all of that air out from the eggs. So after you've folded your apples in, you're then going to line an eight by eight inch brownie tin or square tin, whatever you have. This is just what I use for my brownies. And I'm just going to add my mixture into that and spread it out like this. Just make sure that it's nice and evenly spread out. So then I added in my custard mixture into a piping bag and I'm just piping lines across. Just trying to make some sort of a shape <laughs> like this. I'm, I'm just doing like little diamond shapes, square shapes like this. My piping skills are not to be looked at, please. I'm not very good at piping or trying to make things pretty. And I'm just going to bake this at 160 for 35 minutes. And this is what it looks like after it comes out the oven. And this is why I say, <laughs> just just go with it because it doesn't look very pretty and then you dust it with loads of icing sugar and then then it looks really pretty <laughs> so I've let it cool for about 10 minutes and then I'm just going to cut out some slices and this is what it looks like it was so yummy guys it was really light in texture and we were in a rush but I really hope you guys enjoyed this recipe thank you so much for watching